Uh, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about panic recovery. Uh, in a simple Go application, when uh, your code panics, uh, it will result in the application being terminated straight away. If you observe the panic function in Go line, so this is the panic function description. The panic built-in function stops normal execution of current routine. So when you read, uh, when you give the panic, and it will automatically terminate the all all your server but uh, uh, I'm using uh, but uh, this web application is very sophisticated a bit more sophisticated so go HTTP server assumes that the effect of any panic is isolated to the go routine serving the acting HTTP request so I'm going to create one delib uh, one deliberate panic in home hand uh, in home handler function so it would be like this panic oops uh, something went wrong okay I created one del deliberate panic. So let's start the server for an CMD web slash. So it's starting. Now I'm going to make HTTP request through curl command for the home page on my terminal. So curl hyphen i http dot colon localhost 4000 see unfortunately we all get uh, what we get is an empty response due to go closing underlying http connection following the panic this isn't a great experience for the user it would be more appropriate and meaningful to send them a proper HTTP response with 500 internal server error status instead. So a neat way of doing this is to create a, some middleware which recovers a panic calls app.server error helper method. So I'm going to middleware.go. Here I'm going to create one more uh, method which is recover panic in middleware pattern so I created a recovery panic in form of middleware pattern so I'm writing the code here first I'm going to create a one deferred function defer func Oops. Then I'm checking the uh, this defer function always be run in the event of panic as go unwinds the stack. Now I'm using the built-in recover function to check if there has been a panic or not. If error recover function, this is a recover built-in function error not equal to nil okay and then if uh, error not equal to nil and is setting a connection close header on the response so connection close header And then I'm going to call the app.server error helper method to return 500 internal server response. Empty dot and 
error. Okay. Call back. Type pillar function request. So this connection close header con header on the response acts as a trigger to make ghost HTTP server automatically close the current connection after a response has been sent. It also informs the user that connection will be closed. Okay. And then second one is the uh, uh, value, uh, the value returned by the built in record function is an interface and its underlying type could be string error or something else, whatever the parameter you parameter passed to panic was in our case and the strings, uh, the, uh, it would be, oops, the string is, oops, something went wrong. So now let's uh, put this to use in routes.go file so that it is the first thing in our chain to be executed. Okay, routes.go. App dot. App dot recover recover panic so paste everything here so here i wrap the existing chain with re recover panic middleware now let's restart the server Okay, server is running su successfully. Now I'm going to check the home handler again now. So this time we'll see what will happen. See. Okay, this time uh, it would be a meaningful. Okay, uh, we can see that a nicely formed 500 500 internal server error response following including connection close as well okay i hope you understand guys thank you so much bye bye